Okay, so it is time for building block number two of our character building series based on Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success. This one's a hard one. I think it's hard, but it's really good. So I hope that this is one that we can work on with the help of the Lord, be able to add this additional character building block to our homeschool, to our lives. Oh, so here we go. My name is Celeste. I'm the homeschooling mom of three boys. This is the second video in a character building series. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll be sure to link it down below. But in that first video, apart from sharing the first building block, we also talked about kind of how the pyramid is put together and also the definition of success. So before getting into our second block, I quickly wanted to share the definition again. Coach Wooden defines success as don't try to be better than anyone else and always try to be the best that you can be. So again, it's with the purpose and the feeling that we all have been created unique, special, really trying to build our lives in a way that it honors God and really honors those amazing plans that he said that he had from the beginning. The second building block is enthusiasm. So if you look on the pyramid, you'll see the second building block, kind of one of those initial building blocks from the bottom row, it's enthusiasm. And enthusiasm produces two things or has it can have two different results. One of those results is that it is contagious. Um, when you are enthusiastic or when you're around somebody who has enthusiasm, it's something that rubs off. So it's definitely something that is contagious. And two, it brings delight. So it brings a really positive feeling, a really positive environment. So enthusiasm brings those two elements. So what enthusiasm is not, is not an inconsistent high. So it's not like just this welling up high of emotion. Instead, I want us to be able to look at it as passion, as a passion for something, as something that drives you, as something that's important to you, and something that you bring all of you to because it's important. And that is kind of how Coach Wood explains it in his book. Again, as I did in the first video, I'm not gonna share things specifically from this book. I'm just gonna use the building block and take some fundamentals from the Word of God and also maybe my personal experience as a homeschool mom to share with you. I want us to look at two things regarding enthusiasm. The first thing is what's important and the second thing is what's the fuel. Matthew 6 21 says where your treasure is your heart will be also. In other words what we treasure is what is important to us, what we place great value on. And whatever that is, that thing is, or that area is, that is what we're gonna become passionate about. Your heart will align with what you treasure. And that alignment will give birth to passion. An amazing passion that burns in you and helps propel you forward in the things that you do that are of great importance. So what's the fuel? In Colossians 3.14 it says, and above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Love fuels our passion. When we love something, we become passionate about it. So that perfect love, which binds everything together, is that fuel that ignites that passion in our lives. So why is passion important? Why is enthusiasm important in our homeschool? It's important because it brings that life to what we're doing. We talked in the first building block, the importance of working, right? And being industrious in our work and working hard, working with diligence. If we're gonna put all that effort in, it needs to be something that we're passionate about. And I wanna ask you, homeschool mom, are you passionate about homeschooling? Are you enthusiastic? Am I enthusiastic? Am I passionate about what I'm doing? We invest a lot of work and a lot of our time into this. And I think it's so wonderful, as it's said in Colossians, that we can put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony, fueling that passion and helping us continue forward and not just doing things or going through the motion each day or not just checking off the boxes, but doing every single task with passion and with enthusiasm. The reality is life is not always steady. There are ups and there are downs. And if we're all honest, there have been moments in our homeschool journey where maybe enthusiasm has not been part of the equation, right? We're just trying to make it and do our best those days come. If there's been a day that you haven't felt well, that you've been sick, that you've been going through a difficult season, that then you got really hard news on that day, it's very hard to continue with that enthusiasm and that passion. So I do want to say this. 
extend yourself grace for those difficult days. We all have them, they all come. But our goal is that in our lives, we may show enthusiasm for the things that we do. That can also rub off on our children. So they also will be young men, young women that will grow to be passionate. And they not just go through this life without a purpose, without a mission, but that they know that their lives have great purpose. Each one of our lives have been created with purpose from our creator. And how wonderful for them to see that modeled in our lives, that passion as we're teaching them, as we're raising them, as we're doing this all for the glory of God. So let's energize our homeschool with enthusiasm. Let's put our heart in all that we do. It's contagious and it brings delight. I pray this video was an encouragement to you homeschool mom. Um, as we continue to homeschool our children, many of us are in the home stretch in the last few days of our homeschool year. Others I know are homeschooling year round, but I hope this was an encouragement for us to be able to bring that enthusiasm, that love, that passion, that excitement into our homeschool, that we may truly enjoy what we do with our children every single day. I'll be sharing the third building block very soon so you can keep an eye out for that video. I pray that you and your family are well. I pray you are blessed. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking to you soon.